hope that you enjoy this because God knows we will. Are you ready? So we're going to Why? I mean, yeah! I think that every player has an identity in the way that they uh, strike the strings. I was watching an old video of Alan Holdsworth and people spent so much time trying to replicate his tone. Mm. But I saw him play um, just his guitar with his fingers and he sounds exactly like him. And I think what gets overlooked is the fact that if you don't have the tone in your hands, no amount of gear is going to change that. However, on the other side of it, I think it's also important that if you have a tone that works for you, not to think of the effects as a crutch. So because I use delay as part of my tone, like I have delay on everything because that's what I do. Mm. But in the past, I'd have people that would be critical of it, be like, oh, you're using delay as a crutch. And I'm like, no, that's just what I do. And I think that it's good to be able to accept that as well. Just be okay with the fact that your tone is maybe full of, of effects, right? So I'd say a combination of remembering that the tone starts with your hands and then not uh, giving yourself any slack if your tone includes uh, effects, right? For me, when it comes to my heavy tone, um, I don't use a lot of gain, but uh, more than some. I don't like having the microphone or the IR directly on the cone. I think that sounds really brash in the high end. Uh, I tend to like more presence than treble. I tend to use more mid-range than one would expect. And uh, when I'm mixing guitars, a really good tone in the mix is often different than a tone on its own. Like if you're playing in a room, you may find that the low end of your guitar is very gratifying to have like a lot of low end. But in the mix, it's all about slotting. So you have the kick and the bass and the guitars and then the, the synth. You have to find places for each and excellent tone in the mix uh, not only includes those things that I just mentioned about the actual settings on the app, but the high pass, it can go all the way up to 100 sometimes. And then if it's at that, that area there is bass and the kick is below it. I think it's like what makes an excellent tone in the mix is often uh, going to be much different than on its own. I think it's reductive for me. The idea of making music is not about exploration in that I don't pick up the guitar and try to find new things. The guitar is a, a companion to me as I'm going through the process of trying to make myself more functional as a human being. And as a result of that, the music acts as almost like a document of the, the mistakes. I'll have a feeling or I'll have a vision for something musically. So to keep progressing for me, it's very little about uh, the gear, theory, the tours, anything like that. It's more about trying to learn from my mistakes as a person and then trying to progress in that sense, right? And then as a result of that, the music just seems to be the counterpart. I always have a guitar with me. And so it's just constantly being documented, that growth. It's funny because sometimes people uh, want things to stay the same. A record that I or somebody else has done way in the past. And they're like, we want you to do that again. And I think, God, I, I can't, you can't. It's like, I'm not the same person. And I wouldn't want to be the same person. So I think that the process of growing as a musician also means you lose audience members and gain audience members. You lose them, you gain them, you lose them, you gain them. For me, that process has been a real slow rise. It's not like, a, like I'm a huge success, but it's more than it was last year. And so I think that the testament to being able to say that I'm doing things correctly is just the fact that it, it does change. It's always different. I just have to put it out and hope that people can resonate with it on some level. There was an Irish band when I was a kid called the Clancy Brothers. And I loved that. And then 
I loved like heavy metal. I loved like Slade and Judas Priest, and Metallica, and Def Leppard, uh, and things like that. But I think it was probably K.K. Downing and Judas Priest, you know, the guy that I guess Andy technically replaced Lynn. <laughs> but it was K.K. Downing because uh, he his solos were so crazy and they had so much echo. And I think uh, between that and the guy who composed the soundtrack for the film, The Dark Crystal, yeah. his name was Trevor Jones, and the melodies that he chose on that. Uh, just were so haunting for me. I think between those and Enya, loved Enya, like the album Watermark. I always remember thinking, I want to make music that's a combination of uh, Metallica, Def Leppard, and Enya, with a little bit of Stravinsky. <laughs> I'm a hundred now, but when I was about 18, I went to a show in Vancouver, and it was a band called Saigon Kick. And I liked the band. They were sort of like hard rock glam, but sort of alternative. And I'm actually friends with the guitar player now, Jason. But the reason why that show was so important to me is because no one was there, but they still put on an amazing show. Like they didn't make a scene, they didn't sulk, they didn't make it out like they were hard done by because people didn't come to the show. They performed, they, were, they did it great, the sound was killer. And there was just really something about that commitment to putting on a show for people, even when they could have just phoned it in, that I found super inspiring. Super inspiring. Flanger. Delay. I love delay. In fact, so much of my writing, the process of me writing the way that I do includes the delay. So when I don't have delay, I typically just don't want to play. <laughs> When I was younger, it was like trying to find the right delay pedal was so difficult because they were all weird and clangy. And I always wanted to have a compressor and a reverb and everything. But now, eh, eh, you can have it all in one place. So I'm going to sign this one. I hope that the next phase of my uh, creative development uh, benefits from the use of this because quality here is is uh, a huge a huge thing in my life man there's so much crap here but if it's good i think i can get some inspiration so ladies and gentlemen for me delay all the way